So th this is a Polaroid SX70. This was made in 1972 by the Polaroid Corporation. Um, one of the most amazing cameras for me opens like this. Now this is a full SLR camera, so that means that when you look through this, uh, this viewfinder, you're seeing exactly what will be on the frame that you take. It has totally manual focus control, exposure compensation, and this is a camera just that absolutely, to this day, still stuns me to interact with and, and use. And this is a camera that we specialize in here. Uh, my name is Kyle DePew. I'm the owner of Brooklyn Film Camera, and we sit here in Brooklyn Film Camera's headquarters in Bushwick, Brooklyn. And we restore film cameras of all stripes, uh, specifically Polaroid cameras. Uh, many of us who worked here uh, formerly worked for the Impossible Project, so we received expert uh, training from original Polaroid technicians in Europe um, to do Polaroid restoration. So people send us their, that's the, this is the largest part of our business, Polaroid restoration. So people send us their cameras from all over the world to restore. Our customers range in a lot of respects. I mean, a lot of people are these younger people who are just getting into film photography. And that's that's actually a wonderful thing because you're you're sort of blowing people's minds. <laughs> you're saying, showing them these very amazing cameras and they're going, whoa, I've never seen this, I've never used this. And then uh, we, we have a, many customers, though, who have been shooting film and who come to us because we, you know, we're good at what we do and we restore these cameras. Um, I'd say it's maybe an even split, maybe 50-50, but, but a lot of people who do shop with us, are, they do know what they're doing, they, do, they are intimately aware of this world, and they're coming to us because they trust us and we sell good cameras. People are buying a ton of Polaroids, people are buying a ton of point-and-shoots, 35mm point-and-shoots. Um, we sell TLRs a lot, twin lens reflex cameras, those are big sellers. The Fuji Instax is the largest selling film on the market, I think, by, by far right now, which is a, an instant film, aka Polaroid film. Um, yeah, huge interest in Polaroid, huge interest in simple 35mm cameras, um, and we are every day mailing out, you know, lots of them. It's an exciting time to be in the world of film photography. I mean, it's, it's, doing, it's doing very well. If you look at the sales trends of, of film, just for the past seven years, it's been on a, you know, a steady incline. Um, it's not it's not accelerating to the rate that it was in, in the 1990s, you know. Um, it never will, of course. But, uh, but yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a big, um, there's a big uh, niche for smaller companies to get involved, like Brooklyn Film Camera, like, like we are. Um, film Ferrania in Italy is now, you know, putting out their, their alpha batch of film. They're, they're a company who bought uh, the old Ferrania plant in Italy, and they're restarting it with government funding and with, with private investment. Um, so they're going to be producing new films, 35mm and 120. I think there's a big re-interest in instant photography because it's, it's the most utterly tangible uh, iteration of film photography possible. I mean, you're literally receiving it in your hand at that moment in real time. And there's a magic to it, actually. It's, it's a very magical thing to receive a Polaroid. You get to watch it develop, and it's this chemical process that's occurring in real time in front of your eyes. And it's a, there's a, a huge wow factor to that. I mean, even someone... I've been shooting Polaroid you know, essentially my whole life. Um, and, and it still feels that way to me after all these years. And in fact, if you, one of my favorite things about shooting Polaroid is interacting with people because it's a very social form of photography, right? Um, and I think that's important about it. Um, and even if you take a Polaroid of an old person, right, who, and Polaroid's been around since the 50s, so older people who are alive right now, you know, have lived through a long age of Polaroid. Um, and even those folks, if you give them a Polaroid today, they still go, wow, and it's, you know, because, I mean, for many of them, it's because they thought Polaroid was dead, and it was for a little while. Um, but uh, for many of them, even that they may know the story of Impossible, and it still holds this magical, I think there's just such a magical uh, aspect to it that is still alive and still very true. They're wonderful. They're objects. You know, it's not just a picture. It's an object. Um, and it, yeah, there's, a, there's a, a, a real huge beauty to it that I'm, I'm still touched by. It.